Today I'm going to show you guys how to configure Layer 2 communications on S1700 series switches through the web. S1700 series switches are classified into unmanaged and managed switches. These here nine models are unmanaged switches. These switches do not support a command line, web, or SNMP management. When configuring an unmanaged switch, you only need to connect to the S1700 interface to a remote device with a network cable. Moving along, let's talk about managed switches. These here seven models are managed switches. If the name of an S1700 contains letters W or F, it is a managed switch. W refers to web-based management and F refers to both web-based and SNMP-based switches. Now I'll give you an example on how to configure layer 2 communications on a managed switch through the web. As shown in the figure, PC1 and PC2 connect to the aggregation switch, switch A, 3 managed S1700 switch. PC1 and PC2 run the same services, but belong to different VLANs. PC1 belongs to VLAN 10, and PC2 belongs to VLAN 20. PC1 and PC2 are located on the same network segment, and use the router as the gateway. PC1 and PC2 need to communicate with each other. Next, let's take a look at the configuration roadmap and procedure. Here, I show you only the configurations related to the S1700. We assume that the configurations on switch A and router have been completed. Enter the URL address of the web client and press enter. In the displayed login screen, enter the username and password. The following table lists the IP addresses and initial usernames and passwords that allow you to log into the switches. After logging into the web page, create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 on the S1700. Add GE001 and GE002 to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 respectively in access mode. Add GE003 to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 in trunk mode. Now I'll show you the step-by-step -step procedure. Log into the web page using the corresponding IP address, username, and password. The web pages displayed on your screen may be different from those displayed here. Step 1. Create VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. Choose Service Management, then VLAN in the navigation tree. Click the VLAN tab, and then click New. Enter. VLAN ID 10, the name is optional and I use the default name. Click Apply. In the Display dialog box, click OK and close the dialog box. Now VLAN 10 has successfully been created with the name VLAN 0010. Next I'll create VLAN 20 in the same way. Click New, enter VLAN ID 20. Click Apply. In the Display dialog box, click OK and close the box. Now VLAN 20 has successfully been created with the name VLAN 0020. Step 2. Add GE001 to VLAN 10 in Access Mode. Click the Interface tab, select GE001 and click Configure. Change the link type to Access and enter VLAN ID 10. Click Apply. In the Display dialog box, click OK and close the dialog box. Now, GE001 has been added to VLAN 10 in Access Mode. Step 3. Add GE002 to VLAN 20 in Access Mode. Select GE002 and click Configure. Change the link type to Access and enter VLAN ID 20, then click Apply. In the Display dialog box, click OK and close the dialog box. Now, 
GE002 has been added to VLAN 20 in access mode. Step 4. Add GE003 to VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 in trunk mode. Select GE003 and click configure. Change the link type to trunk and enter VLAN IDs 10 and 20. Click apply. In the display dialog box click OK and close the dialog box. Now GE003 has been added to VLANs 10 and 20 in trunk mode. After the preceding configurations have been completed, click Save in the navigation tree, click OK in the display dialog box and save the configuration. Now all the configurations on the S1700 are complete. Thanks for listening. Goodbye guys. To obtain more information about common configurations and typical features of Huawei switches, see the All About Switches threads. Where do you find these threads? Using Google search, type in All About Switches site colon Huawei.com in the search field and click any of the displayed links to enter the Huawei Enterprise Support Community. For details about more features, visit the home page. The All About Switches threads describes typical configurations and users' questions about Huawei switches. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for listening, and goodbye.